Atoms, again as further, in the atoms also disappear. So we see that that the nothing can be found as a flower. And particularly when we say at a certain point, when we see the flower, where we see the flower from the big, from the beyond this, if we look for the flower, then the automatically you have reached a point where you will never find the flower. Then, however much you may analyze, you will never find the flower. Okay, so to some extent, this is also known as uh, the modern science, for example. Modern science, to a great extent, modern science adopts this approach. Uh, this is also referred to as the reductionism. Reductionism. Um, for example, very recently in Israel, we had a conference on consciousness. Perspectives on consciousness, and uh, the they were two very senior neuroscientists, very senior neuroscientists, and of course the quite unpopular. And there was also a very senior physicist, and the younger neuroscientists were also there, and then psychologists were also there. So they are debating about they 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 debating about. Uh, the concept of free will, concept of free will, <coughs> and they could not come to, to terms as to what exactly is free will because they just go down into the, the neuroscience, they go down into the, the neurons, then the synaptic connections, neurotransmitters, <coughs> and so forth. No way can they possibly free will, they end up in all conditions. So, likewise, because this is the free will as one. And then try to look for free will by going into the, some form of, say, what we call as called ultimate analysis, <coughs> and what 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 the approach in science is known as reductionism, or science of the Western philosophy is known as reductionism. So the, with this reductionist approach, you will never find a flower. Okay, now in the context. Of the Arunagarthana's philosophy, what he says that the rest of flower, the flower is right here. When we see the flower, the flower is there. This is enough. If you look for the flower beyond that point, you will never find the flower. Okay, this is what we are not to forget. So this is known as um, okay. Um, the let's say. 
Um, driving a car in France, driving far, um, the, where should we drive? On the right lane or the left lane? Right lane. Huh? Right. Right. Not the left. Okay, we should drive the right lane. I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah. You know the left. I'm not asking where the steering is. I'm asking where the lane is. Which lane is correct? Huh? The right is correct. Okay, let's say right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's say right. Right is correct. But if you if you drive from the left, what's the problem? Huh? Accident? What are the problems? If there's no cars, if there's no other cars, what's the problem? Police. Huh? Police. Uh, police, yes. <laughs> what will the police do? Police, police will find you. Police find you. Okay. So the which means that if you're on the left left lane, it's a wrong lane, right? Huh? Wrong or right? Wrong. Uh, correct or not correct? Correct one. Correct one. If you write on the if you drive from the left lane. Correct. Left lane. Left lane. What do you say? I'm correct. Okay, not correct. Now, um, but the road will not tell you. Road will not tell you that this is wrong lane. Right? Road will not tell you. Okay, whereas it is still wrong, right? Yes. It's a wrong lane. Right, right or not? Yes. Good. Okay, Any, anyone who has an idea as to when the first car came to France? Huh? Any idea? When did the first car, the first car come to? 18? 1870. 1870. Okay, let's say 1870. 1870, the first car came to France. Okay, so there. He or she can write on the drive on the right or left, which is correct. Yeah. Both are correct. Right? How come then at one point both are correct and then gradually only the, the right one is correct? Why? Why yes. so many more? So many more, gradually to 10, 100, 1000, many cars came, then there's a traffic jam. Then the issue goes to the government. Then the government has to deal with it very seriously, right? This is a serious problem. We have the ambulance, sick people going there, and we have people going there. So they, they, they get stuck there, people can die on the road, before getting to the hospital. So we have to do something. What to do? Then the government people, they call the experts, cleaners, experts. What should we do? Tell, tell us to solve the problem. Then they said that, Okay, the best thing is to always drive from one side, right? Drive from one side. Let's say right. Why did they choose the right? Why did they choose the right, right, right lane? Because they found the car, then they, they, were, they were riding on the horse, and they had to climb on the horse on the right side of the horse, so they are safe. The oh, why should they have to climb from the right side? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought there's no concrete again, it disappeared. Oh, it is empty. <laughs> yeah, so why why you why they made the, the right right the right lane as the, the correct lane? Why? Daniela? Well, I don't know, but it's a convention they established because in other countries it's left side. Yes. In so the, right yes. Did you follow what Daniel is saying? Somehow we do, we have to make one lane is correct, right? You decide, right or then, you turn. If you say left, okay, from today onwards we're going to left is going to be the correct lane. 
Or if you decide right, or from truth or right is the correct layer. You getting it? Huh? Okay, no? Because traditionally, the right side is according to the law, and the left side is against the law. Oh, the right side is against the, uh, the right side is according to the law, and the left side is against the law. Who made this law? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who made this law? What I'm seeing is that the, the say during the before the cars came, is there any? Rule for the Danes? No. The, uh, what? The horse, whatever you can, you can go for anywhere you like. In those days, right? Only when the cars come, then it's not really dangerous and traffic jam happens. So there, then the, we need to have the rules. So the rules. Who create the rules? That the right, we should, the right lane is a correct lane. Who made this rule? Huh? In People in the government, the experts. Experts, their body made the rule or their mind made the rule? <coughs> their mind made the rule. You're getting it? How their mind made the rule? By saying, okay, let us decide on the right. So, and then they say there are 10 experts. 10 experts say, okay, let's make it. Okay. What did you say? What is the sign? Victory. Huh? Victory, Victory right? <laughs> What is the sign? Three big trees. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean victory. You get it? So why two finger, fingers is victory? Why not three fingers? Because it's V. Then we make it V like this. <laughs> no, this is V. Then we make it V like this. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just a matter of make, let's make two conventions. One V, two V. As well as one V is there, victory. Very good. Uh, what is this? Good. What is this? Good. 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 Like, I like it. Like. Right? Then this is two likes. Five likes. No. It's not five likes. Why this is like one? Convention. Just convention. What do you mean by convention? Okay, nothing is from the object, so our mind decides. Okay, let us call it like this. Okay, the Patrick. Why are you Patrick? <laughs> it's not my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> What's the meaning of Sophie? What's the meaning of Anne Sophie? My parents put the saddle on my body. Uh, no, no, Sophie, what's the meaning? Wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, where is wisdom? No. <laughs> where is wisdom? There, there, to wisdom. <laughs> But what is sharp? That's the meaning of sharp. <laughs> What's the meaning of sharp? No, no, you can hear What's the meaning of sharp? No meaning. Okay, Pamela, what's the meaning of Pamela? No. Amina, what's the meaning? Trust. Huh? Trust. Trust, very good. Okay, Martin, what's the meaning? It means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Virginia. It's a virgin. It's a mother. Of mother virgin. Yeah, mother virgin mother. Okay. Cecil, what is Cecil? Blind. Huh? Blind. It comes from blind. Blindness. Right. Okay. 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 What is buts? It comes from San Sebastian. Oh, Saint Sebastian. Okay, where is Saint Sebastian? Okay, what is 
Where's friend? Honours. Honours. Okay. Okay. Honours is human being or non human being? Honours. Honours is human being or quality of human beings? Honours. Is it a human being or the quality of a human being? Quality of human being. It's not human being, right? No. Okay, but you're honest, right? <laughs> so the how come that how come that your name is Frank? Uh, yeah, parents called me Frank when I was called. Why did your friend did your parents call you Frank? Uh, at random. Oh, at random. Okay, good. This is fine. There's nothing there from the object to say that this should be called as Frank. This should be called as the Patrick. This should be called as O. There's nothing there from the object. It's just what comes to your mind that is given to me. Into the object, right? So this is known as conventions. Conventions. When I was in class nine, I remember when I was in class nine, I must be fifteen. When physics was introduced as a separate subject, my teacher said, my teacher was talking about the teaching about the electricity, teaching about electricity, and he said that electricity has two poles. Negative and positive. And I was so curious, how can we know which is positive, which is negative? I was so curious. I thought that <coughs> we did not notice that. We see two lines there, but we do not know which is positive. Why two lines? He said that there are two poles, one is positive, one is negative. I was so curious to learn from him as what is the person. And the answer that he gave, he, he, I did not ask. I was so curious. He said that. One is positive, one is negative, there is no reason, it's just a random, it's just a mention. I was shocked. For the first time, I was shocked. I was very young, I was not a monk. I was a very young boy, age 40, 50. I was shocked. He said that one is positive, one is negative, there is no reason, it's just randomly. It's just convention. This is what he said. I was so shocked. Then later on, I said that there are many things which are conventions. For example, the traffic lanes, which is which is correct, which is wrong lane, these are all conventions. There are so many conventions. Right? For example, the 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 girls if they if they what? People I, I don't know, shoes they are some shoes are different, right? Some shoes, they're pointed. <laughs> what do you call it? High heels. High heels. Huh? High heels. High heels. So the boys, if they put on the positive teeth, it's fine? It's unisex? It's fine. <laughs> huh? It's fine? Pointed heels? Hey, the, the boys? Huh? The boys are so weird. If, you, if the boys wear it, Something's wrong with the, the, the person. It's time for the person to go to the mental hospital. It's guaranteed. Because the girls wear it, it's so fashionable, it's so nice. Right? And the, the, the earrings? Oh, fine. Both is fine. The earrings is fine. A lipstick? I'm going with it's fine. <laughs> no, no, tell me. Tell me why. If the boys do it, it's so weird. Huh? Swear which, oh, which community boys do it? Tell me. Yes. Yeah, Where? Yeah. Where? 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 Huh? In many countries, gay community boys. Okay, okay. <laughs> not the gay community. Okay, let us not bring that issue. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Let's say the let's say the take aside the gay community, right? Okay, fine. Not too sure. Huh? The boys do that. The boys. Huh? No, the point is high heels. Not the high heels. The point is high heels. No, I've never seen that. <laughs> no, high heels is fine. High heels. High heels is fine. But the point is high heels. No, but it sticks, yes. Huh? So what I'm saying is that there are so many things, there are so many things which actually there's no reason why the boys should not do, why the girls should do, why the girls should not do, why the boys should do. There are many things which are pure conventions. 
And also the thing, for example, the ties. The ties? The bow tie? Bow ties worn by men or women? Bow ties? Huh? Men. Yes, yeah, so, so besides convention, there's nothing there. I, I asked who wore, who, who wore it? The boys or the girls? Both sides. Huh? I did already, and I'm not a boy. So, so when did you do that? <laughs> when I was younger, it was special in France. When did you do that? When you were revolutionary. When you were revolutionary. I said that. I said that you were revolutionary. You were special. Yeah, you were special. <laughs> Okay, so we see that there are so many conventions where the boys do, the girls don't do, where the girls do, where the boys don't do. There are so many conventions. You're getting it? But I'm saying that these are purely conventions. Purely conventions. Okay. Now, conventions meaning that somehow people create an idea. People create an idea, and this idea is imposed on object. Object has nothing to do with what you are creating. And then it becomes real. There's nothing real from the object. For example, the travel rules. Right? And also, for example, say the who's the president of president of France? Macron. Macron. What is there within his body to say that he's president? <laughs> what is there within his body to say that he's president? Nothing there. Right? Nothing there. The day he was upon, the day he is sworn in as the president, he became the president. Before that, he was the same person with the same knowledge, same knowledge, same number of fans, same number of fans, same same knowledge, same person, same the what well, the party constitutes on the constituents. But the one day before that, he was not a president. Next day, he became the president. Very powerful. So how come he become so powerful the next day? What changed in his body? Or what changed in his mind? Nothing. It's just a pure convention. It's just a pure convention. All the, the, the say the, the country's law, they were all pure conventions. So the convention means something coming from the subject or coming from the object. Hey. Subject. Conventions means something coming from the object or coming from the subject. Coming from the subject. So therefore, subjective existence. Conventional existence, they mean the same. You're getting it? Okay. So, we say that uh, the, I said we have to keep a distance to appreciate the flower. To appreciate the flower, you have to keep a distance. That is the subject. So, what's coming from the subject is known as subjective existence. As you go closer to the subject, <coughs> As you go close to the object, you are looking for the subjective as opposed to objective. You are looking for the objective existence. Now what we learn is subjective and conventional, they are very close. Subjective, subjective existence, conventional existence, they may be the same. Conventional as opposed to <laughs> ultimate. Okay, conventional as opposed to ultimate. So any mind, any mind, which is, the, okay, say the object, describing the object on the basis of the subject, describing the object on the basis of the subject, on the basis of the subject, we see that the object makes sense only when, only in relation to the subject. For example, water, water makes sense only when we don't go deeper into the atoms. When we go, don't go deeper into the atoms, Water makes sense. The, the moment you go into the atoms, water, the concept of water disappears. You, you agree with me? Okay. So what we see is that now you tell me. Okay, the same flower. You tell me. Group A is Zosana's line and the Dominic's line. Two is group A. The rest is group B. Group A looks at look at this through naked eyes. Group B, look at this through electron microscope, just a minute. Okay, what group B, what you're seeing is atoms. Group A, what you're seeing is flower. Okay, so what group A sees this is a flower, right? 
And with this model, what we learned is that the naked eyes, group A is looking at this through naked eyes, group B is like looking at through electron microscope. Of the two, which is closer to the reality of the object, then micro microscope, this is closer to the reality uh, to the object. Okay. Subject as opposed to object, conventional as opposed to artifact. Okay, this is very important. Subject, subjective as opposed to objective, conventional as opposed to artifact. Now, what we are learning is that from thus far, what we learn is subjective is has a connotation of convention, conventional. Conventional has a connotation of subjective. So. This mind, this mind which is looking for the flower, flower, from distance, from distance, is known as the conventional analysis. Whereas the mind which is going closer to the object is known as the ultimate analysis. You're getting it? This is very important. The mind which is looking at it more closely, closely towards the object, is known as ultimate analysis and the mind which is looking at the object from distance is known as conventional analysis the two analysis are there two analysis so with this with this what we have to know is that okay this morning we gave the example of Domini looked at when the I see the, the Isabel is looking at Domini my mother and Julie is looking at Domine, my auntie, my aunt. You agree with me? Yes. So what we said is that aunt and mother make sense only not with respect to the, the person, but with respect to the frame of reference, the two subjects. The two subjects, Isabel looking at the mother, looking at Domine, my mother, and Julie, a different subject is looking at the Domine, seeing it as my aunt. Okay, so this is the, the subject influences there. Subject influences there. So likewise, the same object, the same object, group A looks at it, oh, it's a flower. Group B looks at it, looks at it, huh? millions of atoms. Okay, don't forget it. Now, now, what I, I, what I expect you to do is, you give the answer pertaining to the flower. Whether you see the flower or you, whether you see the absence of flower. You getting it? Group A, what do you see? Group B, what do you see? Absence of flower. There's no flower there, just the atoms. And within the atoms, however much you may go down, you will never see the flower. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? The moment you go into the, the atomic level, you will never find the flower at any point. So group A, tell me, what is this object? Flower, Ruby, what is the subject? Pertaining to the flower. Flower or absence of flower? Absence of flower. Now tell me, both of both of you tell me. Which of the two which of the two answers is correct? Huh? One says it's a flower, one says it's not flower. How can both be correct? Say one person saying that one person saying that you are you you are same person, other person saying that you are insane person. How can both be correct? Okay. Okay. Did you see what Tashila is saying? Tashila is bringing out the Narendra Master's cross. <laughs> right. Tashila is bringing out the Narendra Master's cross. But you talk about Okay. So what Tashila is saying now? We will discuss a little later. This is something which we have to touch. We have to discuss without which we will not understand emptiness. What did Tesla say? Uh, one entity. One entity. Two isolates. Okay, one same entity, different isolates. This is what Tesla is saying. Okay, this is what we're going to. Um, what we are going, we have to discuss. Okay, now with this, um, the let's say. Group A, what is this? Flower. Flower. Group A, what is this? Absence, Absence of flower. Which of the which of the two answers correct? These two. While the two answers are opposites, how can the two opposite answers be correct with respect to the same object? How? 
Because we are talking, we are talking of the same object with two different references, two different frame of references. Very good. Okay. What are the two different frame, frame of frames of references? What are, what are the two frames of reference? One is the convention analysis. The other one is ultimate analysis. Very good. Okay. Now we are we are the the little exposed to the concept of the two analysis, conventional conventional analysis and ultimate analysis. Now with this, what we see is that what is found by the conventional analysis is the conventional truth. What is found, object found by the ultimate analysis is the ultimate truth. Object found by the conventional analysis is the conventional truth. And object found by the ultimate analysis is the ultimate truth. Okay. Okay. Tell me now. Um, Group A, group A is looking at this object through through conventional analysis. Group B, you are looking at through ultimate analysis. Okay, now tell me. Okay, this is very important. This is very important. When you look at this flower, okay, now all of you, all of you, just speak your mind. When you look at this flower, how do you see this flower? As as your mind, conventional mind, conventionally imputing flower, like a movie projector, projecting a movie there, or you see the flower has nothing to do with the movie projector, it's independent, objectified there, from the object is coming to my mind. How does the flower appear to you? As object from the from the object, the sound coming to me. Okay. So now the point is that this perception. That the flower appears as coming from the object, which is technically known as the flower appears as objectively real. The flower appears as objectively real. The flower appears objectively real, and you believe that the flower exists as objectively real. That belief, that belief or that comprehension of the flower to be objectively real is this self grasping ignorance. That belief. And that apprehension of the flower to be objectively real is known as self-grasping ignorance of the flower. Self-grasping ignorance of the flower. Okay. Now, on the in Har Sutra, Har Sutra. Every morning we, we read the Sutra where it reads Form is empty, emptiness is form. Form is not other than emptiness, emptiness is also not other than form. Okay, this is very important. Okay, this physical, this flower, is it a form or not? Form or not, this is a form. Okay, group A, what do you see? Flower, the form of the physical form of the flower. Group B, what do you see? Emptiness of the form of the flower. Group B, what do you see? You see the absence of the form of the flower. Absence, emptiness, nil, all same. Absence, emptiness, nil, all same. So group B, what do you see? Emptiness of the form of the flower. Group A, what do you see? Form of the flower. Okay, now let's not forget this. Okay. I will ask each, each one of you as to what it is, and you tell me. What is this, group A? Flower. Flower. Form of the flower. Okay, group B, what is this? Emptiness of the form. Form. form of flower. So the heart to Sutra says, what group A sees as a form is what group B sees as emptiness. Form is emptiness. You're getting it? So heart Sutra says, what group A sees as a form is what group B sees as emptiness of the form. Form is empty. Oh, what is the second line? Emptiness is form. Emptiness of form. What group B sees as emptiness is what group A sees as form. Okay. 
for group B, C says emptiness. For group C, group A, C, as, uh, C says a form. Are these two the same object or two different objects? Same object. Same. Same object. Same object. Same. So therefore, what group A, C says form is not different from what group B, C says emptiness of form. What's the third line? Huh? Form is not a, okay. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. You're getting it? So what group B sees as emptiness is not other than what group A sees as form. Likewise, what group A sees as form is not other than what group B sees as emptiness of form. You're getting it? Okay. So with this, what we understand, what we understand is the what Tashila said that same entity, different isolates. Okay, so you'll be a little lost here. Um, we need to know what is entities and what is isolates. This is a very important concept we have to introduce, number one. Then number two, the positive phenomena and the negative phenomena. Positive phenomena and the negative phenomena. So these two concepts must be introduced. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Our first, let us introduce the entities and isolates. Okay, two concepts. One is entities and isolates. Concept of the entities and the isolates. The number two concept is the positive phenomena and the negative phenomena. So these two must be deduced. Without these two concepts well understood, you cannot understand emptiness well. So these two are so precious concepts. Okay, number one. Um, just speak your mind. Speak your mind. Okay, what is in my hand? Nothing is there. Speak your mind. Don't think that you are logicians. <laughs> okay, now tell me, what is in my hand? How many things are there in my hand? One. Oh, louder. Our bed is there. Sophie? Tell me. Absence of the flowers. Absence of flowers also there. <laughs> wow. I'm not. I'm happy that Sophie made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie not only made the mistake, acknowledged the mistake. Okay, how Sophie tell me how many things are there? Yeah, only six Oh, good, thank you. Don't change your mind. Okay, <laughs> tell me how many things are there in my hand? One. Hey, louder. One. 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 How many things are there in my hand? One. 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 Ah, one. one. Okay. What is that? The color, the color of the flower is there. Yes. Color of the flower is it in my hand? Yes. Ah, yes, yes no. Yes. Color of the flower is it? Oh, no. Color of the no. color of the flower is it in my hand no. or outside my hand? In your hand. Huh? In my hand. Color of the flower, is it the flower? No. Huh? No. Color of the flower, is it the flower? Yes. No. Huh? No. Color of the flower, is it the flower? No. Louder. No. <laughs> if not, then the, the flower is in my hand, number one. Color of the flower is also in my hand, number two. These two are not one, right? These two are not one. These two are different. Different means two or more. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes. How many things are there in my hand now? Tell me. One. 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 Uh, one. 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 one or two. <laughs> Which is that? <laughs> the flower and the color of the flower. It's two or two, right? It's two or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, now the color of the flower is outside my head or inside my head? No, no, I did not ask whether it's in the flower. I asked whether it's in my hand. It's not in the hand, which means it's outside the hand. <laughs> so the color is in my hand? Atoms, the flowers in my hand? Atoms of the, atoms of the flower also in my hand? Atoms are in the flower, right? Yeah. Not in my hand. 
So you go there to the shop and you say you give you give one uh, one euro one euro note. I said I'm giving millions. I'm giving millions. Why people say that? Please don't waste my time. Go to mental hospital. <laughs> There's sense. Why to mental hospital? For good reasons. Yes, yes. My eye and the hand is two. Yes, yes, this two two. Yes. One was also two. The the other one. Oh, this two. Yes. So there are two things in my hand. Yes. Okay, there are two things in my hand. Okay, so when I give one the euro euro note, I'm giving two euro notes. Okay, so now how to resolve this problem? You getting it? How many things are there? One. If you say if you say two, the first thing you have to do is go to the mental hospital. <laughs> if you say one, you will end up with logical contradictions. If you say one, you will end up with logical contradiction. If you say two, people will send you to mental hospital. So what do you do now? Okay. So the so when you when you give one flower, do you give one thing or two things? One, not not two things. Okay. So the, what is that thing that you give it? Not the flower, color of the flower. Mm -hmm. No, well, it's not just the flower. Color of the flower, you are giving or not giving? Yeah, You're giving. You are giving or not? Well, it's not just the flower, so you give it. Yes, yeah, so when you give the flower, so you also give the color of the flower, right? Yeah. So, so this was not one. one. Uh, it's still one flower. No, this was not one, right? No, this was not. No, this was one of the French. This was one of the French. The it's color of the flower and the flower. Huh? The color of the flower is different. Oh, different. Different means more than two. Two or more. It's not one. No, it's still one flower. Huh? It's still one flower. Oh, oh, the color of the flower is a flower. No, the color of the flower is a flower or not? No, the color of the flower is a flower. Is it a, it's a flower or not? It's a flower. Your body, is it, is it friend or not? Your body. Um, your, your hand, is it friend, friend or not? Your hand. Huh? I did not ask whether it's a part of friend. I asked whether it's friend. Um, well. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 very good. The color of the flower. No, it's not a flower. The color of the flower is different from the flower. Uh, it's, it's a, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That I know, that you know the tradition, I know that. I'm asking, yes, but the color of the flower is a flower. No, no, okay. No. Yeah, okay. So, color of flower is not flower. Yeah. Color of flower is different from the flower. Uh, yeah. Okay, so different is more than two or more. Yeah, it's more than two. Okay, so different is more than two or more. Yeah, again, it's five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can never solve this problem unless until okay. Like I give you one, the Ashok Ashok Bhatti two. Ah, okay. Anti device one, Ashok device two. What is meant by anti device one, Ashok device two? Anti device is flower. The flower, the color is one. When I point to the flower, it's one. The when I the in your mind, in your mind, I can see that two. I, the, in your mind, these two are two. When you go to an object, you, you, it's just one. When you go to the subject, it's two. Okay, so this is not this. Unless, until what I should saying. Okay, Laura, you have something to say? No, I have a five. Okay, you have to put the five. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I think you, you give one entity, but you give a lot of characteristics. Okay. One entity, yeah. one of characteristics. Okay, very good. Okay, for that, how to resolve this problem? First, you have to identify the problem. What's the problem? On <laughs> without identifying what the problem is, you cannot solve the problem. You have to first identify the problem. What's the problem? 
If you say, there's one thing in my hand, it contradicts with the logic. There's so many things, the flower, color of the flower, absence of tiger, absence of flower, the absence of books. There are so many things. Whereas if I say there are so many things, then the, the, it contradicts with the conventional world. Right? Convention, it contradicts with the conventional world. How to solve this problem? This is a question. How to solve this problem? This is a question. Okay, Martin? Uh, the flower, this is one composed phenomenon. Okay, yes, then? <laughs> my question is, how many things are in my hand? Infinite. Infinite. Wow. What? 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 You give millions of euro. Million of components. Okay. Okay. So the what mark? So what was how you answer? One or many? How many things are in my hands? That's my question. One floor. Or the one thing. One what is that thing? The flower. The flower, not the color of the flower. Not that. Color of the flower. No, color of the flower. No, no, it's, a, it's one flower composed of this and this and this and this. Yes, that I understood. <laughs> my question to you is the color of the flower is it in my hand or not? Yes. It's my hand. Color of the flower is one with the flower or different from the flower? It's both. It's both. Oh, it's this is worse than. <laughs> it's part of the flower. No, no doubt. That I know. You don't have to teach me. I know that it's part of the flower. My question whether the color of the flower is flower or not. No, it's not flower, which means it's different. Yeah. Okay, it's different means more than two. Yeah, but the moon is different from the <laughs> Okay. So this yes, yes, says Amina. How many things are there? <laughs> this in general, we say flower. Okay, yes. Yeah. The flower. But the, the flower has many items. Yes, yes, the, the flower has many items. The flower is one of them, the item. Yes, it's, the flower has many characteristics. Yes. Of these, the color is one of them. Yes. So the color of the flower is in my hand or not? It's you? No. It's the color of the flower is not in my hand. Flower. This <laughs> item is a part of flower. My question the color of the flower is in my hand or not? It is. What is it? It is. Go to the flower. Is it the flower? It's in the flower. It is. Is it or not? It is. It is. Yeah. So the color of the flower is the flower. Your hand is also you. It's Your right hand is it you or not? Part of, part of you. I know that. <laughs> your hand. But I have vision for one part. Mm. That's your, your right hand is it you or not? Is it Amina or not? Your yeah, right hand. Oh, right hand is Amina. No, no, no. Right hand is not Amina. Left hand is not Amina. So the flower, the color of the flower is not the flower. No. Okay, so the color of the flower is different from the flower. Yeah. Different flower means two or more. Two. Two different flowers. Okay, which means how many things are in my hand now? There are two things now. Yes. Not one. No. Yes. Yes. You said one. Yes. 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 Let's say this flower one. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this problem will never be resolved unless or until you study what is known as concept of the entities and the isolates. Okay. To say to say to say whether one or different, the concept of the oneness or the differentness, for that. What should we do is there are only two options. Either you go towards the object to see one or different, or go towards the subject to see one or different. Either you go towards the object to see one or different, or you go towards the subject to see one or different. Okay. Why should I why should I trouble myself? There are so many 2018 participants. Hey, 2018 participants. Hey, what happened to you? Hey, old 
Aan toe wat? Je kent die. Een fret de la fleur, elle est composée de de parties, elle est composée de caractéristiques. Les caractéristiques des parties sont les isolées de la fleur. So the flower is composed by parts or characteristics, and the characteristics are the isolates of the flower. Very good, very good. But I need a complete thing. It's partly correct. I agree with Cathy. There is an entity, there is one entity and many different possible isolates. Okay, Cathy, yes, I agree with you. That's very good. My question to you what, what, in what way these two are one entities? These two are one entity. How? Okay, it's the other entity. And it's okay. One the object, one entity, Why did you speak before? No, she's deliberately troubling me. She knows the answer, she's just really quiet. To see, you know, how I'm interacting with people, she is so happy. She's so happy that you know the universe that troubles for me. She knows the answer, so she's just watching. <laughs> okay, so the, the thing is to see one or different, to talk about one or different. What we do is that we either we go to this object, we go to this object, or we go to the subject. When we go to this object, you are looking for the entities. When you go to the subject, you go to the you you are looking for the isolates. Entity meaning the object. Isolate meaning how the mind isolate things. How the mind isolate things. Isolates is the word. How the mind isolates things. Okay, this we will study a little later. For the time being, when you go to this object, entity is meaning the object. You go to this object. When you go to this object, tell me, do you agree with me? If you ask me where is the flower, I said here's the flower. Correct or not correct? Then you ask me where is the color of the flower? I said it's here. Correct or not correct? In both cases, looking for the flower, looking for the color of the flower, in both cases, when I go towards the object, I point to the same object. Do you agree with me? Yeah. This is what the Anasophy said, this is what Tashila was saying. You're getting it? When you go towards the object, you're looking for the entities. So for the color of the flower and the flower, in both cases, I can point to the same object. Same object. Okay, so we see that I'm looking for the referent of the label, referent of the label, color, referent of the label, flower. I'm looking for the two different labels, no, two different referents. I'm looking for the two different referents of the, the, the labels. Look for the reference of the two different labels. One is the referent of the color of the color of the flower and the referent of the flower. In both cases, when you say where's the flower, I'm looking for the referent of the label flower. I said this here, correct or correct? Correct. Then when you say where's the color of the flower, you are asking me to look for the referent of the label color of the flower. Again, I say it's here, correct or correct? So we can point to this, when you go to this object, we can point to the same object for the reference of the two different labels. So these two references, um, when you go to this object, is the same. So this is known as entity by same. The color and the, the flower and the color of the flower, these two are entity by same. Because when you go to this object, we find the same thing. We just point to the same object. This is the flower, this is the color of the flower, it's the same. So we see that flower and the color of the flower, these two are entity by one same. Now, now we have to look for isolates. Number two is the isolates. Number two is the isolates. Okay, let's see. Um, easier would be, instead of the form, the color of the form, easier would be the table. This is a table. The table, the table, and the top flag of the table. 
table and problem of the table. So what we do is that I the uh, for the isolates for the isolates. Okay, first let's let's go to the, for the entities. Entity, where, where should we go? To a to, to a subject. To do for the entities. Object. 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 Okay, we go to a subject. Uh, where's the table? It's here, correct or correct? Where's the top line of the table? It's here, correct or correct? So I I can point to the same object for the reference of the two different labels, the table and the top line of the table. So top line of the table, the table is two entity device. One. one. Entity device same. Entity device one. Now we go to look for the isolates. For the isolates, don't go to the object. Where do we go? To go to the subject. How do we go to the subject? How do we go to the subject? For that, you don't don't look at the table. Just mentally go to the mind. How do we go to the mind? Let us meditate. Sit up properly. Sit up properly. Sit up properly. Okay. Now you think of the you think of the table. Think of the table. Don't look at the table. Think of the close your eyes and think of the table. Number two. Next, think of the top plank of the table. Okay, now open your eyes. Tell me. In your mind, in your subject, the mind. These two things appear the same or these two things appear different? Different. Huh? Different. These two appear the same or these two appear different? Different. Different. Okay. Other thing, one different. These two appear the same or different? These two appear different. Others? Different. Different. Same. So you always have to say something opposite. Okay, so we will listen to others, right? Okay, let us listen to others. Okay, uh, first to say same is easy. I cannot say in what way is different. So those who say different, I can say one in what way is different. Then you can listen, right? See if you agree with. Okay, how many? By the way, how many you agree with, Sophie? This to appear as one. Okay, appears one. This will appear as one, the top top line of the table and the table. This will appear as one in your mind. Okay, okay, Cecile, then Sophie, two, now Sophie has one support. Okay, my <laughs> support, Sophie. Yeah, two, three, okay, anyone else? Okay, now three of us, three, three of you will listen to others. Okay, Anna Sophie, tell me. In what way these two appear as different? When you see the <laughs> when, uh, when the table uh, conceptually appears to my mind, there is, uh, uh, there is no, I, I, I don't understand with the, the flat, uh, how do you call that? The, the flat. Top line. The top, the top line. And when the top line appears conceptually to my mind, <coughs> the, the rest of the table will not appear. It would appear. It would, it would appear. Okay. So what? Anastasia said, is that when you think of the table, the top line plus the length, legs, everything appears to my mind. When I think of the top line, the legs do not appear. Only the top came to my mind. No? <laughs> yes, Cecile? For you, top line, all the table comes? Just say yes, no. Not all the table comes, but just it's like I focus on the top. Okay, like for you, you are free to focus on, on one part, but still I, the I, whole table is there. Okay, whole table comes to your mind. Okay, when you see the when you see Kala Chakra, this hall, you see the whole world. Huh? You focus on the Kala Chakra, but you see the whole world. Is it? You see the whole world every day. No, but it depends every on moment. No. When you look at me, you it depends on the Meditation. So meditation, don't think of the table, think of the top line. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I didn't ask you to think of the table. I asked you to think of the top line of the table. Who, who told you to think of the table? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes, let's do the game. Yes, yes, let's yes, yes, do the game. Top line, uh, top line of the table. You know, the top line of the table. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, now the table. Now the meridian table. Think of the table. Yes? Okay, I think different or same? Yeah. No. Top line of the table ah. and table. These two appear different or these two appear same? Okay. Now, but I, I have both. <laughs> different, right? Uh, no, it's like uh, I have one top of my mind to think at the Not same. now. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not asking now. <laughs> two minutes ago, you thought about the top line of the table. Two minutes later, you thought about the table. These two are same or different? <laughs> huh? No, that's very easy. Are you seeing the world now? Just think, just think of the Kama Chakra Center. You see the whole world? You're seeing it? No. No. Okay, very good. So the Kama Chakra Center, when you think about it, just the Kama Chakra Center, you can think about it. Top plan, just the top plan, you can think about it. Right? Mike, that applies to you also. So I'm going to change the different now. Okay, so you're going to change. I'm going to change. You're going to change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change. <laughs> okay, listen. Okay, now Sophie, tell me. This yeah. appears one or different. No, I think I, I did access it actually. I, I focused now you some... change your mind? No, it's not like change my mind. I think I misunderstood what you were saying. At the okay, now you understood it? Yeah. Okay, now different? Oh, very good, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> if Sophie is changed, then everybody is changed. <laughs> okay, now with this, what we learned is that top line of the table and the table, these two, for the entities, when you go towards the object, we see that it's the same. When you go towards the subject, the subject, then we see that these two are not same, these two are different. You're getting it? So the subject, the mind isolates. Mind separates the top line from the Top plan of the table from the table. The mind isolates. So therefore, this is known as isolates. So the top plan of the table and the table, entity wise, one or different. One. Tab top plan of the table and the table. Entity wise one or different. One. One. One or same. Top plan of the table and the table, these two are isolate wise one or different. 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 Very good. With this, I, with this concept, what we can learn, what we can say as the whole and the parts, the whole and the parts, the relationship is always entity-wise one, isolated-wise different. This is the relationship. You're getting it? The whole and parts, always the relationship is entity-wise one, whole and parts, they are always entity-wise one, isolated-wise different. Now tell me, the flower and the color of the flower, these two entity-wise one are different. One. Huh? One. Very good. I should advise one is different. I should advise one different. 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 Again, Sophie wants to say one. <laughs> okay. I should advise these two are different. And it was these two are one. You getting it? Okay. Yes, Howard. Very good point, Grace. How thank you. There are so many kinds of isolates, not necessarily what you call as the, the components, not necessary. Right? There are so many versions of isolates, there are so many versions of characteristics. There are so many versions of characteristics. Very good. Okay, now I I like you to do a little bit of Okay, let's stop here.
We'll continue the next session. <laughs> Oh.